Welcome to today's session on the integration of um, technology into the classroom. In this session, I'm going to focus on why, how and when technology should be integrated into classroom settings uh, and also discuss how to optimize the use of available resources and learning technologies. Over the past years, uh, we've seen um, the continued integration of technology into the curriculum, uh, yet what is interesting nowadays is that it is currently being used to transform the educational setting. But what exactly do we mean by technology integration? Well, infusing technology into the classroom basically means using technology as a tool to enhance the learning in a content area or multidisciplinary setting. It's intended to allow students to create and demonstrate what is being taught through the use of various applications in order to express their ideas, thoughts and, and learning. Students can use technology to learn content and show their understanding of that content, not just their expertise with the tool. Uh, let's talk in practical terms. Uh, this could take the form of creating podcasts, making movies or even recording songs. The product can then be presented to an authentic audience, one which is interested in the topic. By this, I mean students will be able to share their work with others around the world and, at the same time, receive instant feedback on that work. The internet has therefore allowed learners to connect with others in the most unimaginable ways possible. Adam Bellow, a technology training specialist in the USA, believes that if a lesson can be presented in a better way using technology, then digital tools should indeed be used in the classroom. Uh, the Common Core state standards in the US, for example, call for students to develop digital media and technology skills. So learners should be given the opportunity to create their own content rather than just absorbing it. With this in mind, we can focus on why technology should be integrated into the curriculum. One of the main reasons is that technology can help learners improve their problem-solving skills, especially in problem-solving based learning. Students can work together or independently to explore which tool can help them visualize the problem. In addition, it can lead to greater learner independence as learners work out for themselves what educational technology tool can be best used to express their knowledge. More importantly, students can work at a pace that suits their needs rather than lockstep, as expected in more traditional classroom setups. Because of this, teachers are able to check whether students have mastered a certain concept by accessing real-time dashboards which allow them to monitor student progress. Students can also track their progression through peer or teacher feedback and by reflecting on their own learning. Let's turn our attention now to uh, how teachers and school administrators should actually integrate technology into the educational context. While administrators consider the training costs involved in preparing teachers for this digital implementation, maintaining the equipment and also covering any hidden costs, teachers focus on delivering the curriculum in an appropriate way with the support of educational technology resources. In preparing lessons, teachers should not forget that technology is merely a tool for lesson enhancement and not a guiding strategy. In essence, Technology shouldn't be used unless it is improving what educators are already doing. Teachers also need to bear in mind, of course, that although technology is all around us, not all students know how to use it for learning. And so, instructors will need to update their knowledge and plan their teaching accordingly so to ultimately help the learners. Furthermore, if teachers connect learning tasks to the real world, students become more engaged in their learning as they create the information into something of their own. This is far from the traditional academic model where students are expected to memorize something and then present it for a test. Lastly, when is integration of technology successful? Well, in my opinion, it's successful when technology is available for the task and when it becomes a routine part of our daily lives. What I mean by this is that it becomes second nature and not an effort to implement it in the classroom. Thus, teachers don't need to worry about what ed tech tools are accessible for the task, but instinctively use any tool to support the content being covered. Interestingly, research in the US has shown that as a result of the implementation of technology in schools, 
writing skills, science learning and mathematical concepts have all improved. And this has all been made possible because the integration of technology has created technologically literate students, or what we call digital citizens these days. It has also helped strengthen engagement by linking students to a global audience and has provided students with opportunities to practice their collaboration skills in real-world scenarios. In fact, research suggests that if we integrate technology with face-to-face -face teacher time, academic outcomes will be bettered as a result, rather than introducing it either on their own. And so, to briefly sum up today's session, we've discussed the integration of technology within a school environment, focusing on the why, how and when. If you would like to explore more on any of the topics discussed, click on the links provided at the end of this unit. As always, remember to observe what is happening in your classrooms and be a reflective practitioner.